Hello there guys, welcome back to yet another one with us to review bros and today we've got an exciting one for you and why do we even think it's exciting? Well when we whacked up a picture of this tub on our Instagram it did receive a lot of comments. Survive by Cold Blooded Nutrition, it's got a nice Spinosaurus on the front, huge tub, we'll get into that why it's so big when we get into the price and the label itself. 50-50 say whether you like the tub design or not, some say it's been designed by children, some of you really like it because it's stand out and unique, different to the others. Let us know in the comments below. The taste, the price, label and effects coming up for you guys right about now. And then if you're new, hit the subscribe button, like the video, drop your comments below on this pre-workout, all the usuals, let's go. That moves us into our first segment, the taste and the mixability. And this comes in just one flavor and it comes in the flavor fossil fruits. Now who knows what sort of fruits they're supposed to be. You know, it could be out of date fruits from a few million years ago. We just don't know. Were they dug up from some burial site? <laughs> Let's get into it. Mixability going in. All right, so a flat scoop gets you the 21 gram serving size. We just weighed it out as per Aaron's scale. Dead flat. 21? If you look back at any of our videos, we normally say weigh the scoops. You'll be absolutely shocked by how many times they come in at the wrong weight. Mm, under or over. Either way, let's do it. We do have, guys, Little bit of frothability, nothing major there. We do have, ooh. Oh, there are some particles, but not bad though. Not, not bad, not terrible. 21 Gs, and considering what else is in there, guys. See that? Hope that's focusing in nicely on that. We can hope. But let's see how it actually tastes. Does it taste like a fossil wood? Oh, damn, that was like a flashbang. <laughs> damn. How about that? How about that? Is it gonna right. taste scrumptious, scrumple stilt skin? That's weird, isn't it? I can't put my finger on what that's meant to be. Obviously, we both used it before today. We've got to pretend for the sake of the camera it's our first time. Uh, uh, do you want me to go first, or do you want to take it? I don't even know what it, what it is. What would you say? I don't know. I don't know what it tastes like. And I've got to be honest, I've got to call a spade a spade in these reviews. I don't like it. I wouldn't say it's unbearable, it's not undoable, there's a nice bit of sweetness there. It's not necessarily bitter or chemical tasting, it's... I just don't really like it. To I... me, it tastes like a blended up molten down frutella, like one of those little yellow frutellas, or like the flavour that no one likes to eat, not the red or the pink ones. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's not along those lines. So what, what fruit would you say it is though, if you had to land it on a fruit? I don't know really, like pears, mm, yeah. oranges, pears Pear orange. lemony, orange, like... I don't know, it's not, like I say guys, I'm not gonna say that I wouldn't take this pre-workout because mm. of the taste, but at the same time, it's one of those pre-workouts I wouldn't necessarily look forward to. Yeah. What do you, let's really just do a 3, 2, 1 score out of 10. Come on, think about yeah. it, come on. I, I will admit it's above average, because if it's below average, I'd actively be not liking it, whereas I'm... I'm still drinking it, okay. This might be the first but, time these taste scores come out differently. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Three, two, one, five, 6 .5 out, of out of 10. What should we go in at? 5.75. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it, guys? I mean, it's not bad, is it? Mm. Should we say six? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's okay. It's not undoable, it's just a bit bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, we've it's had got a better. weird aftertaste as well. What is that? I don't know, and we've had worse. Mm. Let us know if you want any more details regarding this taste section in the <laughs> yeah. comments below. They do say it's fossil, <laughs> so they, you know, they're not pretending it's going to be fresh, are they? Let's put it that way. No, not the best, not the worst. You know, I'd call it doable. I yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was good. Mm. I'd say it was okay, and even okay might be pushing it for myself. Doable. Cheers for watching taste segment. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the <laughs> 
So, how much is it going to set you back to pick up this big ass tub? And the reason it's so big is because it's 36 servings. But if you want to pick it up, head over to coldbloodednutrition.com where it's on there for £49.99. pence. Which, guys, is not too bad actually. It's, 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 actually, the way I put it is this it's a big startup cost. Not mm. many pre workouts out there cost 50 quid. Don't get me wrong, there are pre workouts out there that do. But that being said, guys, you do get a genuine. 36 real servings from this at 21 grams a go, which is way above average, guys. You don't often see pre-workouts with more than 30 servings in them, let alone when they're these big, hefty scoops. 36 servings, guys. That is why it's a real packer of a product. Mm, you normally only see about 20 servings, 25 these days, didn't you? So. Yeah, exactly. Now they have slashed a lower price out and um, they've got some sale on at the moment for Black Friday, so, if this review sounds right for you, I recommend going to it now. But as you know, we always go by the consistent non-sale price, which I assume is what it will revert back to after Black Friday. Apologies, cold-blooded nutrition if we're wrong. But if that's the case, it will cost normally that $49.99. So when you divide that up, you do the math on that, it actually comes in at a pound and 38, 39p per go, sorry, which, it's not too bad actually, and if you guys have watched here before, you'll know that that's not going to be bad on the pricing scale that stays consistent here at Review Bros. It compares pre-workouts on an even playing field from across literally the entire world, guys. So it roughly works out how expensive it is. And this one comes in at a nice 5.5 out of 10. So slightly better than an average pre-workout, and you could argue you're getting a lot more than an average product in this. So we'll have to see. Let's get into the label and the effects. Is this right for you? It's that time, guys. It's the label time. So what are you getting in this big ass tub? Well, 21 G's a serving, guys. Exactly, can't go wrong with that. So first up, we've got L-citrulline pure at eight grams. Hefty dose, guys, way above average, guys. You know, nitric oxide production and pumps, you're gonna get pumped off of that alone. Nice, we've got L-tyrosine at three grams. Which again, three times normal, guys. Amino acid responsible for concentration and focus in the gym. L-taurine, three grams again. Three times the normal, guys. You know, hydration, electrolyte balance, all of the goodies and has been shown to have some nootropic focus effect. Christ almighty, DMAE, two grams. <sighs> Normally only see that at like 750, guys, so th this is gonna be stacked. This is stacked stuff. It worked with the L-tyrosine. Again, more focus and concentration vibes. Mad dosages. Then we've got betaine HCL at 1.5 grams. Which you'll notice, guys, is different from betaine and hydrous that we normally see. It does have some different properties in it, and we don't often see it. That being said, we have seen it before in the likes of Dorian Yates pre-workout. I do believe we've seen it in Legion Pulse by uh, Legion Athletics. So it's not the first time. It has been shown to have some different effect in um, helping with stomach acidity, pH value, heart health, and joint care. Nice. And then we got caffeine and hydrous at 445 milligrams. Again, well above average. I'd say 300 is about average. This one's coming on four and a half cups worth of coffee for caffeine. A hefty dose for energy and stimulation. Wakey, wakey time. Then we've got pink Himalayan salt, 300 milligrams. Which is an okay dose. This is probably the first ingredient that I'd have liked to have seen more in reality, but it's gonna be there for the, um, the muscular contraction, the pumps, the, the hyperhydration, the drawing in mu moisture to, to the muscle cell directly. Lovely. Then we've got Korean ginseng extract, 10 to 1, 300 milligrams. A decent dose of a healthy ingredient that's been shown to have its anti... Um, stress. Yeah, anti-stress, but also um, antioxidant purposes, and it's helping with inflammation levels and the like. Just a general, nice, healthy ingredient we like to see in a pre-workout. Pleasant. Then we've got guarana seed extract, 22% caffeine, 250, so that yields 55 milligrams of actual caffeine. So that whacks this pre-workout up to a massive hit of 500 caffeine. I'll repeat that, 500 caffeine, energy for days. God damn, then we've got citrus aurantium, 100 milligrams. 
which is very similar to synephrine, guys, a fat burner that has been shown to have some stimulatory effect in the form of metabolization of the fat cells within the body for an instantaneous source of energy. Good stuff, yes. L-theanine, 50 milligrams. A respectable dose, guys. I like the fact it's not too high. Don't get me wrong, that caffeine dosage may just crush that all together. Theanine combined with caffeine has been shown to make it last longer without the jitters that a big caffeine doses like this can give. Yeah, exactly. The caffeine's out angling the L-theanine like the Persians to the Spartans. Yeah, it? normally it's a, ideally it's like a two to one ratio, whereas this mm. time it's like a 10 to one. Yeah, it's what it is, it's on. a 10 to one ratio. Quite literally. And then we've got bioprene black pepper extract, 10 milligrams. Which I'm happy to see, you know, in order to get these ingredients into the body, you do need a digestive aid, and that comes in the form of this black pepper at double the norm, so good dose. Happy with that. Then we've got Hoopazia serrata extract, 400 micrograms. Which is the upper level of what we want to see, guys, for, again, more focus, more concentration, just tying in nicely for this pre-workout effect. Do you not know what's mad? You could probably take half of that, just take, like, 10.5 gram scoops and still hit clinic on most of those. Yeah, easy peasy, to be honest, guys. It'd be, and then double those scoop size. What's 36 to 72 yeah. servings? Yeah, last year, a good couple of months, month, two and a half months. So, let's Ooh. get into the effects. How's this one gonna actually come together in real life? Did we survive or did we become fossils like the Spinosaurus on the front of the package? Did we die? <laughs> Let's go through the effects, guys, as we normally do, looking for those three elements, the energy, the focus and the pump. How did it come together in reality, guys? You know what? We're not going to deny it. The label absolutely looks banging. Mm. It looks like a pre-workout that's going to deliver us 10 out of 10 effects really does from every every angle. Overdose to galore. Yeah, it? on all three of those angles. You know, those dosages are crazy. So are we expecting crazy results? Well, let's start off at the beginning with the pre-workout reviews as we normally do. And that is that ingredient, Craig, isn't it? What is it? Beta alanine, which I don't know if you guys noticed or not. Not in this one. Obviously, you probably know by now, me and Aaron love beta alanine. So it was missed in this scenario because that gives you that sense of urgency normally. So yeah, we didn't get it from that, but we did get walloped by the caffeine to initially. Initially, guys. Now, beta alanine, as, as Craig says, is that itchy, tingly feeling. So it's super discretional. Do you like it or do you not? Because it's like, uh, don't get me wrong, I think the majority mm. of people do, and that's what we've always held uh, results for on our polls on Instagram and YouTube and Reddit and you name it, and they always come back 70, 80, even 90% yes. 10, 20, 30% obviously towards the no. So if you don't mind not having b training, it's gonna be a thumbs up for you. If it's something that you love, you are gonna miss it. And you're gonna miss it for this reason. The caffeine, although it's dosed at 500 milligrams in there, which is a crazy amount, if you have any experience with pre-workout formulas in the past, which let's face it, the majority of you guys watching now probably will have, Caffeine on its own as a stimulant is, I think the, word to, the words that I want to put together is leaves something to be a little bit desired. Yeah, most people are a bit desensitised to it, but like Aaron just said, most people have been around the block a little bit, so they know, you know, they're not shy to a bit of caffeine. So it doesn't actually hit that hard as we thought it would, but it does hit and you do notice it, but it wings off quite fast, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And what you guys will be saying is, no, that's not the only stimulant in there, guys. You've mm. got some at 100. I'll be, I'll be frank with you guys. You know, when we call spade a spade, we're truthful here at Review Bros, not endorsing this product or any of that like. It doesn't really feel like that. You don't get any cold sweats, sweats in general. It doesn't feel like there's a thermogenic background effect. And it doesn't feel like you get any extra stimulation from that synephrine hit, or uh, they've labeled it up as um, citrus, citrus or orontium. Pretty much down the same line, guys, of that thermogenic energy stimulatory property. It doesn't hit hard, this pre-workout. That's an honest take on it. It delivers good energy, but it doesn't deliver very good energy, and it most certainly doesn't deliver excellent or stim junky levels of energy, which is kind of what we expected and kind of not. Now, you guys will know the drill here. 500 caffeine 
is not to be sniffed at. Don't get me wrong, it's not the highest we've ever had, but it, boy, it is more than average. Yeah, it's like the baseline stimulant. Normally you like to see other things bolstering it up, like, you know, a rearrangeensis. I'm not saying every pre-workout needs a rearrangeensis. That's just an example. You know, an extra tea cream, dynamine, you know, all these things that sort of give it some more life. Yeah. Now what we've said is it feels like 300, 350 caffeine. That's, yeah. that's the honest truth, guys. We've got to call a spade a spade. Now from an energy standpoint, I would say, like I said, good, between good and very good. So mm. a seven out of 10. That's its weakest element, uh, interestingly, because obviously that stands out on the label and you think, oh, that's a lot of caffeine. It's gonna be energy for days. Now again, calling spades spades, guys. Honesty is these the main key of these reviews. The focus was, very good, going towards very good, but in absolute 100% honesty, not as good as we thought it might be with that l tyrosine at three grams, DMAE and Hoopazine. Mm, mega know, dosed, all three of them. We was expecting to be absolutely dialed in. And guys, that sounds quite negative. It still dialed you in, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just didn't blow your mind in a, like a tunnel vision focus way. It was kind of like you just, you know, you just feel good on it, you feel all right on it. So for the focus standpoint, we would say about an eight out of 10, which yeah. quite obviously it's speaks for still. itself. Yeah. Um, and then the best element from this pre-workout, the pumps, weren't they? The pumpies, yeah. And as you probably expect, I mean, eight grams of L-citrulline alone, you know, it's not to be sniffed at, is it guys? And mm. that, that nootropic element plays into the pumps with a mind-muscle connection. I know what you're saying, and it gives, um, it gives more of a watery pump. Yeah. It actually reminds me of, some, say, something like nuclear pre and mm. nuclear pumping that it gives Along you those a, lines. a full, juicy look. Mm. Not necessarily a dry, contractional feel from, say, example, the pink Himalayan sea salt. It just gives that full look. Which you know, is that interesting, bulk look. really, because there's no glycosides in it. There's, oh, well, you've got the taurine in there. I guess that's an osmolite, so it's going to fill you out a little bit. But, you know, it's not got the typical things that we would expect the watery pump from. Um, so, and for example, the pump there, guys, if you're looking for a score out of 10, a solid nine, mm. maybe even pushing nine and a half. So it's a very, very well-rounded daily driver. Now, it's also hard to call it a daily driver. Yeah, because of that caffeine alone, really. Like, you've got to watch how much caffeine you're having when you're taking that in. Yeah, absolutely. And what I said, guys, um, to Craig earlier on was I actually took this at half a dose and it was still a good pre-workout like it really is. So I think it's good from a monetary sense, from the price element, because Versatile. obviously you can um, you could take three quarters of a scoop and get, I don't know, I'll do the maths, like 50 something servings mm. of this thing. So definitely worth it from a price standpoint. The um, For me, I'll be honest, for me, this is 100% honest. My, 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 um, Trying to think how to phrase this without trying to sound too negative because I really don't want to come across negative at all. From memory, if you ask me about this pre-worker in six months' time, this is how I like to say mm. it, Craig, isn't it? Yeah. If I, if you ask me about this in six months' time, I'll say, didn't quite live up to the label. Mm. Yeah, That's not the truth. super memorable. No. But there are no negatives to it, to be fair, right? We haven't actually mentioned that. You know, you're not going to get crushed appetite. You're not going to have excessive thirst, keep you up all night, nothing like that. It is, a, again, I don't want to sound negative, a really good pre-workout for the price it's advertised at. That is where it's strong. Okay, yes, hands hands up in the air on this one. Its startup price is high. Now, if you can get it on a 15% sale, which it is currently on right now, bang for buck is banging, especially if you just wanted to do three quarter scoop, if you mm. only wanted 375 to 400 caffeine, that's maths off the top of my head. That is where it's strong. That yeah, it's is like where a, it's very strong. It's like an investment, isn't it? You buy the tub and you sort it for God knows how many months. 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 Yeah. Like so, you could keep it in your cupboard as your little go-to daily driver, if you know. It feels like a daily driver, yeah. but we wouldn't call it one because of the caffeine. So it's one of those ones. You know, you could say it sits between Stim Junkie and Daily, somewhere in that gray area in the middle. Yeah, it's tough because on, for example, I posted this up on Reddit and everyone's, you get some people, and I understand it, I fully understand it. How much caffeine's in that? Oh my mm. God, take that if you want a heart attack, take that if you want to die tonight. Like, oh my God, why is caffeine five? 
I get that. I do get that. But it doesn't feel like 500 caffeine. Mm. It doesn't. It feels like you... a, a couple of energy drinks. 300, 350. It just feels like that. Not when you think there are other pre's out there. Well, loads that have like 400 odd caffeine and then another slew of stimulants <laughs> on top of that. DMHA, DMHA. Exactly. Yeah, galore, alpha, alpha, yeah, alpha, alpha yo, in mind, all sorts of goodies. Everything thrown. The whole book thrown it. So whilst this has got high caffeine, Apart from that citrus or orange, that really is the only driving force of it. Actually, another factor that we don't mention, we do take our, our um, Apple Watches oh, yeah. with us for heart rate purposes of these pre-workouts. This never put us into heart rate overdrive. Mm, no jitters, interestingly. So that 50L feeling obviously does its job somehow. Yeah, honestly, heart rate between, obviously during training, anywhere between 100 to 125. One, yeah, one, in that region. 130 at the absolute push. And we've Healthy. Had, yeah, we've had pre-workouts that put us up to 130. 40 to 150, mm. you know, with, our, with all the extra stims in it. Yeah, so, survival yeah. mode, ironically, which just doesn't put you in. So it's kind of good. It's a nice, healthy make gains on product. You know, I would recommend it to probably not f absolute beginners, but like intermediate people. Intermediates, people that want to make their pre-workout last, last a mm. long time. Um, I'd, I would call it a productive bodybuilder pre-workout. Yeah. Um, it's just missing beta alanine, you know, that would have been a nice addition, but that's mm. that's discretionary to me and Craig and the 80% of you out there that like that ingredient. Obviously, if you don't like that ingredient, I can imagine you'd really want to jump on this because there's not that many options out there without no. beta alanine, so I can understand why they've done it. Mm, fair play to them. So what we're going to give it as an overall score, it's between tough isn't it it's between it is eight tough. and eight and a half out of ten yeah it's tricky because we sound kind of negative but that's only because the label leads you to believe that it's going to be like a nine and a half ten out of ten product but it just falls a bit short of that therefore we talk negatively but it's still a really good pre-workout let's give it the benefit of the doubt and give it an eight and a half yeah i just it just it, obviously that score doesn't necessarily line up with what we've said so far in that negative tone but everything's good with it it's just not incredibly good yeah, if it had had the beta alanine it, and that um, that flushing sensation yeah. with the urgency, with the sense of kicking, with the energy, mm. it might have pushed it up to a nice. nine, nine-ish realm. So, yeah, I think we've broken it down good enough. Not for beginners, unless you do half scoop, then you're on to an absolute winner. Yeah. Intermediate, productive bodybuilder, people who are on a budget, don't mind the initial spend, but want to make this last a long time, which it will do. It's got so many strong points to it. It's really worth picking up. I don't think you would regret getting it. No, really definitely don't. not. And considering it's their first pre-workout, they've done a cracking job with it. So. Yeah, they're definitely not underdosing, are they? So the label is fantastic. Comes in a bit short, but still really, really good. Really good for the money as well. 8.5 is the score it gets out of 10 for today. Definitely give it a shot, guys, if you've got the money. And uh, let us know in the comments below if you've tried it, if you want to try it, what you think of that caffeine, what you think of the label. You know, all of the goodies, really, guys. It's, um, it's always good to hear your thoughts and feelings. Apologies for the length of this video. We just wanted to make sure it's broken down as specifically as possible. You know, um, so many good factors to this pre-workout and it's at this point of the review we thank you for watching along do subscribe if you haven't already do like the video it really does help us comment below as always stay skimmed appreciate you watching